The VW, this is a 2014 Jetta GLI. We bought it just as an A to B car, nothing special. That's why you haven't really seen it on the channel much, except for yesterday's video where we figured out what was wrong with it. As you can see, those are off of it. And so you look in there, in case you didn't see, see that? Yeah, that's the CV axle. I didn't take that off. It just, it broke off. What we got to do is we're going to fix that today. I ordered it from the auto parts store yesterday. They said it'd be here today at 10. So kind of works out perfectly. Um, but in order to get there, obviously we can't take this. So we're taking the Raptor. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering where the F-250 is, commonly known as Puff the Magic Dragon, as you can see, he's not in his spot. Um, he is in, I understand I haven't been extremely verbal about this in the vlogs, but he is in the paint shop right now. Um, getting painted with the design that we worked months to get together. It took months and months to get it to the point of where it is right now. So that's kind of your little update on that. Let's go. We just got back from the auto store and um, the axles are a little late in delivery. I probably should have called ahead before going or whatever. Whenever they call me and tell me that the axles are ready, we're gonna go back again. But for now, I have the uh, right pieces to get everything off and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and take everything off and then wait for the call and then Hopefully get it done by the end of today. That's gonna take a while to get enough pressure to fit that to get that off, so now we wait. I just stabbed a screwdriver into my finger. That's never done that before. Yeah, I was holding a flathead screwdriver and I literally just stabbed, I stabbed like a, the top of it into my finger. And like, I just looked at it and it was sitting in my finger and I'm like, oh man, that's kind of cool. I feel like very successful right now. I can't even express it. little trick I used, I just stuck this into the rotor so whenever it spin, it just hit the brake caliber and then it couldn't move. Huh, pretty innovative, if you ask me. You know, this is probably like the most like automotive work done on the channel. Well, except for back whenever I was building the F-250 before it went off for paint. I did a lot of work on it there, but it was kind of like, it wasn't like in depth, like impact work. It was a lot of like cosmetic style work, like putting random things on and different stuff of that nature. This is different for the channel. Come on, you stupid thing. Get off of the impact. All right, so I just got this call. The, the, ah. Got the call from the auto parts store, which means that we can go ahead and go get the CV axle. So again, we got to get in the Raptor and get it. So I will see you guys with a brand new axle. CV axle from the auto parts store. So I'm going to go ahead and open this, make sure everything's in it. And then we're going to try and figure out the rest of this because um, usually what you do is you separate the knuckle from the strut. And I've been trying to do it and I don't know if it's like rusted in there or if I just don't have the power to get it out on my own. And I just, I can't break it. I feel like I'm missing something and I don't know what it is. So I might have to call someone who is more experienced than I am. I know a lot about cars. I know a lot about trucks and all that and how to work on them and stuff. But suspension is where I kind of get to the point where I'm a little over my head. And I'm okay with admitting that. What's humility if you don't embrace it? So I might have to get someone else here that knows a little bit better to help me out with this. Not really sure yet. We'll see what we can do. Whoa. They gave me a whole new axle nut. Which is a little strange because I don't need that. But Well, I guess I got to give more than what they think you might need just in case you know you need it hi um i uh just came in and picked up a cv axle that i ordered yesterday and um i got it home and i looked and i opened it up it looked like it had been open before because all the uh a lot of stuff is all in the box and all that was kind of unorganized and so i looked at the axle and the uh the holes that are supposed to line up so then the bolts can go through to bolt into the transmission side were not lining up on the axle at all. All right, sounds good. Thank you for your help. Bye. As you guys just saw, I was just on the phone with the auto parts store. They sent a defect part. So, I'm not really blaming them. I'm gonna, I guess I'd blame the company who packaged it being the axle company. I'm not sure who to blame. I'm not even gonna try and blame anyone, but here, hold that thought. Here is the CV axle. This is the side that bolts into the nut, or well, doesn't bolt in, it slides in. You can see the little grooves that just slides in on. That uh, it slides into the knuckle, right? So this side bolts into the transmission. See the holes? All those holes, the uh, bolts are supposed to go through, right? So right there, I don't know if the camera can see, but right there, like all of them 
are not lined up. So from the back of it, you can, I can show you, the bolts would normally fit, right? But if we look at there, at the top of it, I can't get it in at all. It's literally half of the circle is covered up by a weird piece. I assumed that this was a uh, weird defect or something like that. And as you can see, the box looked like it had already been opened in the sense of like all this grease being everywhere. I didn't open that grease thing and it was just really strange. So I'm going to package this whole entire thing back up. And then whenever I talked to him on the phone, they said that I could return this and get a new one at tomorrow, like 12. So we're going to have to wait till tomorrow until we can really get this going. So yeah which means that the vw is not running today and that we have a whole extra day without it or maybe even two days i'm not even sure yet so i was sitting in my room trying to figure out what kind of content i wanted to film because you know i had to finish out the other half of this video and as i'm sitting there i hear something like right there in the driveway and so i hear it all the way from my room and it just keeps going and keeps going it's like a i was like man that sounds like a some type of t tuner car, JDM car, or something like that along those lines. And it just kept revving and kept revving, and I'm like, huh, what is this? And then I hear a burnout, and I'm like, it's in my driveway. So then I walk outside to investigate, and it was Josh. You guys know Josh. If you guys remember, Josh drives a Camry. Well, not anymore. So Josh officially uh, just kind of surprised me with it. You know, he's like, hey, look what I got kind of thing he just showed up with Jason you guys also remember Jason with the Gulf so now Josh has a Miata finally I mean you guys know how many times has Josh said I'm getting a Miata I'm getting a Miata if you guys don't know I'm getting a Miata hey Kevin guess what I'm gonna get a Miata I wanted to be I need pop-ups it has to be a manual I want it like this blah 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 I mean it's like man I'm so glad I don't have to hear that anymore to be honest with you but Josh congratulations on getting the Miata and the new car I'm dope. Uh, I'm dope. That doesn't make sense. I'm super excited to see what kind of content we're going to make with it, the fun we're going to have in it, the fun you're going to have in it, and the enjoyment you're going to get out of it, and how we're going to build it too. Guys, there's rumors, and this is just a rumor. I probably shouldn't even say anything, but you know what? I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> your little hint but um outside of that i'm not gonna say anything just to keep the suspense yeah the car is in pretty good condition we went to actually here i'm gonna put y'all down stop just moving y'all excessively hold on so uh what was i saying wait hold on that's not good the new miata that josh got i say new new to him that josh got i actually went with him to go look at it. i think it's a 95 and the car was in pretty good condition the guy asked too much so i got to figure out what josh ended up paying for because so curious to see because the guy was asking too much definitely the best miata we would looked at so far we looked at two before that one of them was horrible like a high school project and the second one we looked at was a pretty good car too it was green and i actually drove it felt like a go-kart first time i were driving miata it felt like a go-kart it was in, all three of these have been manual that he's looked at he's only looking at manuals which respect but the car fax was pulled up and it turns out it was a seven owner car turns out the car was completely totaled and the frame had to be like reconstructed it was destroyed almost and there was like new engine new transmission all this crazy crazy stuff that had to happen in the car he didn't even know about it but when we pulled up the carfax it turns out it was a seven owner car and pretty much total this miata it's black it's nice it has like a hundred thousand miles on it which for miata is not bad the top is in great condition you know they're a little uh i guess it's like a weird velvet or like leathery material it's like josh will be able to tell you he knows better than i will it was in really good condition the paint was probably good at best you know um not ragging on your car josh i'm just you know uh he knows and so it, it, with some clay barring though i think it can be really really good paint and so i'm going to be convincing josh to do that because we have plenty of clay barring stuff in the garage i don't know why i'm pointing over there you guys can't see the garage but it seems like the guy who had it he was just getting into college and stuff he wanted to get more of a four-door car to move stuff and I don't remember what he was saying, but he seemed like he knew what he had to the extent of taking care of it. Like he knew it was a Miata. He knew a lot about them, so he knew how to take care of it well. Price-wise, he didn't know what he had. He was way too high. I'm stoked for Josh, the fact that he finally, finally has a Miata. I can't even remember how long he's been talking about it, but it's been forever. So with that all being said, thanks for stopping in on the Bridges YouTube channel. Go and subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're going to try and get the VNW, VNW, V and W. Wow. That's, that's different. We're going to try and get the VW up and running, uh, tomorrow, the next day. I don't even know anymore. Um, hopefully everything goes smoothly tomorrow and getting the uh, parts and taken care of and all that. I'm going to hit up some people that are a little bit smarter than me when it comes to suspension. And we're going to get that thing torn apart and taken care of and get the new axles in. So as I was trying to say, thanks for stopping in on the British YouTube channel. Go and subscribe, hit that notification bell and yeah, I'm out.